Starship St. Louis. The young hero, Lone Eagle, has embarked for the legendary planet Terra. Accompanied by his trusty partner, the spaceship known as the SSL, they set a course for the unknown. Okay, Charlie, it's almost time for Betty Bye. I'll take it from here. I must already be dreaming then, partner. The ship's AI wasn't designed to speak aloud. But you'd be lonely by yourself, right? I can tag along if you'll have me. Who is this? Bud? Jenny? Or maybe? Right. It's you. I can't believe I forgot. As long as I'm with you, Starship St. Louis, there's nowhere I can't go. Beyond the Blue Planet. Tips, delightful writer's production note. St. Louis, aviator Charles Lindenberg, who was the first man to successfully fly across the Atlantic Ocean non-stop, was dubbed the Lone Eagle. Lindenberg named the custom aircraft that enabled him to accomplish his spectacular feat, Spirit of St. Louis, in gratitude for the support of the citizens of St. Louis. What a beautiful movie. I know, right? I'm so glad you get it. I'll admit that it was visually stunning. The story was a little sentimental for my taste, but uh, not what I'd call bad. Behind the scenes, it's been a complete disaster, though. We're actors. Why are we dealing with the debt collectors? I'm really sorry. You're right. You shouldn't have to deal with that. In retrospect, I guess we did go a little overboard in boast. That still doesn't answer my question. Why are the debt collectors hounding us? Budgeting isn't an actor's job. I guess it's because I've been so busy they can't get a hold of me. I can't believe you guys were kind enough to deal with them in my place. I couldn't ask for better employees. Are you seriously trying to flatter your way out of this? I don't want the repo men to take me away. Don't worry, we won't let that happen. Ooh, we're saved, my hero. I knew you'd come through, Wokey. You'll handle the funding stuff like you always do, right? Huh. <sighs> you know, Wokey, I really have nothing but respect for how far you're willing to go to help people. But that doesn't change the fact that, damn it, we're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore. Aye, aye, Captain, let's do this. hoo -ah! Stay back, Plessio. These things aren't worthy to face you. I'll tenderize this fodder till it practically melts in your mouth. <sighs> About time they gave up. Alright, Plessio. Dig in. Be sure to clean your plate. Scree! You okay, baby? You're looking a little gaunt. Does the Mississippi mud not agree with him? Or is it? Well, there's nowhere left for us to go anyway. We'll just have to find a way to survive out here. Hmm. Felicitations! This ought to keep the debt collectors off your backs for a while. The production is still deep in debt, though. I'll keep doing everything I can to recoup the costs, starting with more marketing. Wow, what a huge cover-up. 
Nothing can keep my delightful employees down for long. This statue will serve as a reminder of that for all to see. Now then, Wokey, Mash, there's something else I wanted to ask for your help with. I'm getting a weirdly bad feeling about this. Barbecue blood. Kansas City, the barbecue capital of the Midwest. Once again today, bullets will fly amid the search for the ultimate beef. The Hickory Hill family's got all y'all surrounded. When it comes to brisket, we don't settle for nothing less than the biggest and the best. I don't think so. The Calamity Ranch ain't going down without a fight. M moo It's do or die, kill or be killed, eat or be eaten. This fiery festival of furious flavor continues with no end in sight. Burnt ends. Tips, delightful writer's production note. Burnt ends are a unique staple of Kansas City barbecue. The fatty part of the brisket is roasted until it turns black, giving it the signature smoky flavor. Thanks so much for your patience, everyone. I can finally pay you. You're late! They're all absolutely furious. A fight's breaking out. How long did she keep them waiting? I guess you were all pretty stressed, huh? Do you feel better now? Hey, personally, we don't mind a little waiting. But did you forget about these here extras? If you're not gonna pay us, at least feed us. We'll settle for a taste of babe. That they're gonna eat me. Stay back, or or I'll eat you instead. Asterios is so lost in his method acting that he's fighting them as if he were an actual ox. We need to calm him down. Then let's have a makeup barbecue. Everyone in town can come, not just my employees. Ooh, that sounds like a real hoot. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Bunyan. But you'd better keep your promise this time, you hear? Of course, I've never broken a promise. Some just take a little longer to keep than others. So how are you fixing to rustle up enough meat to feed all these folk? Oh, there's more than enough juicy Jurassics in the Mississippi to go around. We'll grill you a whole new flavor. That's all well and good in theory, but who's gonna actually procure the meat? Or is there even a point in asking? Looks like it's time to put our hunting hats on. You're the best, Wokey. This'll be great. We'll all enjoy a taste of the Jurassic period together.